it was a terrible disease because once you diagnose somebody saying is HIV positive, we'll think of death. Only nothing else, death. In 1983, the first case of AIDS was diagnosed in South Africa with the first related death the same year. Seven years later, Sub-Saharan Africa was the epicenter of the HIV epidemic. And in South Africa, an estimated 6.5 million people were HIV positive. When we first became aware of HIV in the country, I think the biggest challenge was stigma. Because when you were diagnosed with HIV, you didn't want to tell anybody. When you were ready to take treatment, you wouldn't take it because you were afraid people would know. The impact of the disease was soon compounded with the twin epidemic of tuberculosis, TB, with South Africa having one of the highest incidences in the world at this time. TB remains a challenge as the biggest killer in the country. Back before that time, it was very difficult for, uh, for those two conditions, that is TB, and uh, HIV to be treated because the treatment itself was very limiting. By 2013, the country's health system could not cope with the burden of this twin epidemic and medicine stockouts became a nationwide concern. And there comes the clients far from different areas. They don't get their chronic medication. It was not easy and you, you feel bad. You think if it was your mother, your relative, because those people there, they are not working, some of them. They don't have money to come back again to collect their medication. If an HIV positive patient or patient diagnosed with TB doesn't receive their treatment on a regular basis, then they are more prone to get opportunistic infections easier than someone who is not HIV positive because of their immune system that has already been weakened. So the most important thing is to make sure that medication is available at all times because that is the key in terms of the health of our clients. We did not really have a uniform system in the province to say this is how facilities should be reporting on medicines. We had been experiencing uh, continuous reports of stockouts and we were, let's say our t turnaround time to solve those was hard because we were working with manual systems to get information from people. Ultimately, the minister then involved Vodacom to help us use technology better. To, we have improved visibility of what's happening on stockouts or availability of medicine. In 2014, the South African Department of Health teamed up with Mezzanine and Vodacom to launch Stock Visibility Solution, SVS. This mobile system allows health facilities to manage their medicine stock levels in real time as part of a networked, data-driven supply chain. With SVS, there's been a great improvement in the management of stock. We are able now to, to balance the stock in, in all the clinics. We are working with Vodacom as our mobile network. The benefits is, is that they've got a wide coverage in terms of network. Even in the rural areas, they can be able to, to be there and, 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 and cover the whole area. People in our communities, in our families, they started to have an insight that HIV doesn't kill anyone if you take your treatment. It's very rare now that when the patients come, they don't get the, 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 the medicine. We are on track now, we know what is in what. So there is no way that we are out of stock. The, it, it has minimized the stock outs a lot. What I love is that I get to help somebody, even if that person doesn't know my face or has, they've never seen me, but I know that I have made a difference in somebody's life. In 2018, it was estimated that 7.5 million people are living with HIV in South Africa. The country now has the largest treatment program in the world. SVS is being used successfully in over 3,000 health facilities in South Africa and has also been implemented in Nigeria, Kenya and Zambia. This mobile technology is helping healthcare workers to provide millions of patients with consistent access to the medicine and commodities that they need to lead long, healthy lives. If this has meant something to you, please show your support by sharing this story. <laughs>